start point. So the horses come through here first of all. They've done a little bit. They've probably gone round maybe once just to warm up, see the course. But they, as soon as they come through these posts here, the timer starts. The whole thing is timed. They've got to do a clear round and it's against the clock as well. So the start and the finish, automatic. And up here on the big screen behind us, we get to see what the actual seconds are. This is fence number three. So this is the third fence that the riders are going to jump. They're going to come round this corner, past these people here in the grandstand. So there's a lot for the horses to see because there's people in the grandstand making lots of noise. There's a trade here as well. They're going to jump over this water first of all. So they're going to see the water. They're going to jump that massive fence. That's a huge fence. As soon as they land, they've got to get ready to jump over the next fence. They mustn't knock any of the poles down. If they do, they're going to get some faults for doing that. So we want to see a nice clean jump straight over, bounce in the middle and jump over the next fence. This is the band of the Royal Gurkhas. Right here, this is Robert Smith, international show jumper. We're all cheering for him today. Get a good look at him. This is Robert now checking out the fences. He's looking to see how high they are. He's checking out to see how far the stride is going to be from one fence to the other. Watch him, he's going to go to the next fence as well now. And here he's going to measure out now the distance that it's going to take so he knows how many strides his horse is going to take between those two fences. Okay, here I am now at my all-time favourite jump of the whole world. I've watched Hickstead on the telly for so many years and admired the riders who've managed to go clear at this, one of the trickiest fences, Devil's Dyke. This is number 10. They've got to jump over this jump first of all. They're heading downhill, which isn't too nice. You can see there there's a water jump at the bottom of the hill, straight over that parallel, up the hill and over another one. This is a very, very tricky jump. When it's raining and wet, it's really unpleasant. Thankfully today it's a dry day. Hopefully we'll see lots of clears going through Devil's Dyke. This is fence number 11. This is the water fence. Now where we're seated just over there, we're going to see the horses coming around the corner. In fact, they're coming almost at a gallop speed to leap over this entire water. They've got to clear the water. They're not even allowed their back leg to land. And if they land at all in the water, they get a red flag and that, uh, that counts as four penalty. So hopefully they're going to have a really nice clean jump right over the water. <laughs> One of my favourite fences. It looks really plain and simple. It's called the Hickstead planks. Obviously, it's got Hickstead on it. It's three planks. It looks really simple, but the trouble is, because it's so simple, a lot of horses just touch this plank and knock it down. One of the other things about Hickstead, of course, is the massive array of shops. I think there's about 100 trade stands here. You could literally walk around all day. You can buy everything for your horse, of course. You can buy a saddle and a bridle and a head collar. You can buy clothes, you can buy handbags, shoes, everything. Great, fabulous shops we've got here. 